Oh, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Bloxit channel. Welcome. Alright, so today we're going to be taking a look at how you texture something in Blender and import it into Roblox Studio. Now, in my previous video, I showed you guys the basics of Blender and how you import it into Roblox Studio. So we're going to be combining that today as well as uh, making a tree and try to texture it and put it into Blender. Now, there's a bunch of ways to do it, but I will be using something called image texturing. Now, uh, let's go ahead and head over into Blender. Uh, here we go. Okay, so we're going to head over into Blender right here. So, first off, I'm going to delete everything here. And if I could delete it, there we go. All right, and I'm going to try to make a tree. So, uh, I'm going to speed this up and sit back and enjoy. So here we have the tree. Now it looks a lot like uh, your average uh, simulator tree. I'm not saying it's bad, but you know, it's, it's a standard tree. Uh, so basically what you want to do to texture this. Um, we might want to do a few things uh, before we do that. Um, but yeah, we're going to get to uh, texturing now. So go over here um, to this thing right here called world or material properties and then click on new and you don't need to give it a name just have it like that um so let's say we want to texture this right here this is like the base of it so uh you want to click on new and you click on this little yellow dot make sure you guys use the version of blender called 2.91 um 2.9.1 uh sorry all right, and you want to click on that little white or uh, yellow dot and then click on image texture it's because we're going to be using an image to do this now to get this image, um, I just use Paint 3D. I mean, you don't need a fancy program to do anything um, or to make this in Blender. Uh, you can just go to uh, Paint 3D. I know all computers have that. Set that to 500 by 500 and go ahead and get some colors and just put it on here. That's all you'll need. Um, so just any colors really. Uh, and that's it. Boom. Now, once you've done that, just uh, make sure you go ahead and save it. Um, I'm not going to save it. I already have one. Um, so yeah, uh, go ahead and find the picture that you just saved. Um, so let me just find mine right here. Texture colors from Blender. So now it should say right here which one you picked. Now go up here to UV editing and click on open. And then you want to open it here as well. Um, sometimes it automatically opens. Don't know why I didn't do it right there. Anyway, um, once that's done, you should have uh, UV editing over here. It should say uh, texture, colors, blender, whatever you call it, your file, right over here. Now, go ahead and click up here on X-Ray that I showed in my last video. And click on number three. This is so we can get um, these faces here. So we can select faces instead of vertices. So go ahead and mark everything here. And it should show up over here. Um, once you've done that, just go ahead and mark everything over here as well. Press S to scale it. Uh, up and down and then just press on zero. This is gonna scale it down to like the minimum it can be Press enter and press G to move it and place it in the color field that you want the main part to be So I want it to be brown because we're making a tree 
Uh, so there we go. I'm just gonna press tab out of edit mode and go into rendered view like another video and here we go. All right, so uh, we've now made that. Uh, let's say we want to color all of these as well. Now I didn't make it away, which was kind of stupid. I made four separate ones here. Not too sure how to uh, make them all colored at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it individually for every single one of them. But it's basically the same thing you do with everything. So uh, I'm gonna speed this up and we'll be right back. All right, here we go. So we have now textured this tree in Blender. Now I would usually do this in Roblox Studio, but this is just so we can export the whole mesh. So it's basically gonna be one mesh uh, instead of five or just two. So here we go. Let's try to uh, export this. You can just put the UV editing to the side. If you wanna see the view like I have, uh, where you can actually see the colors, just click on this rendered view up here. Um, you can get that one and that one, uh, but I'm just gonna use this one. All right, so next up you wanna go ahead and make sure you're in, in this tab right here in viewport shading, um, the rendered view, and click on file, and then you can just export it like I showed in the other video. So go here and save it like a uh, tree for a video. There we go. And uh, you can basically export the whole thing instead of having to export in different parts. All right, so we wanna head up here and once again, like in the last video, Go ahead, find a, or go ahead and add a mesh part and go ahead and add the tree. Here we go. Hopefully that should work and there we go. All right, so we now have a cool looking tree. It's one mesh, it's not different meshes. So that's just one tree right there. Now I do prefer the other method, but this one is pretty decent as well if you're making something for someone else and they're really limited on parts and stuff. Like they don't want too many parts. Um, this doesn't mean it won't, you know, have a lot of triangles, but it will mean that, um, you know, it's, it's only going to be one uh, mesh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, here you go. That's how you make a tree, how you color a tree in Blender and export it as one mesh into Roblox Studio. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, maybe even consider subscribing if you want more. And uh, yeah, comment down below what you would like to see next. And uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.